welcome to Misty and Steph's Things to Do at a Sleepover. Got any ideas? No. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> Actually, we did manage to think of a few things to do. Here's our list. You can watch a movie. This one rocks. Yes, I realize it's on the computer, but we couldn't get the TV to work. Well, I mean, it works, but it's kind of complicated, and the people who actually own this house took the hookup for the DVD player. Skype calls, you have your thing up? Who? Your side is on, very nice. Hi, Jonathan! I have maybe seen a couple bathroom photos that actually looked cool, but if that, yeah, especially ones where they're like, <laughs> yeah, those ones are weird. Yeah, and I went to take out the trash because it was like almost overflowing and I pulled it out and it smelled like a dead animal. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. One more thing you can do at a sleepover is go on a drive. <laughs> How do you turn the light on so you can actually see stuff? Oh, here we are. The light button. Whoa! The light on that phone is really bright! <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> oh my! Gorgeous out there though. Car now my hands are really really cold, but this is fun. <laughs> so are you able to get a video of my camera and actually see it? I'll look right now. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, your is so bright. <laughs> I know it's really bright. Okay, I'm shivering now. I have my stuff packed. Let's go back okay. to the car. Get back from chilly hilltop trip. Make snack. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Misty Boulevard's cooking show. Today we are having the delectable dish of ramen. crash at 2 in the morning because you suddenly realize that you have to go to work the next day 